We're gonna review one of the most fascinating machines I've seen in a while. This is the IXN 3000 from Chetto. Let's talk to Sergio about what this machine can do. I'm amazed by the attention to detail in these wonderful machines here at Chetto in Portugal. Now, Sergio, we're here in front of the IXN 3000. Now, what is a Chetto machine and what makes it special? Yeah, because uh, we do machine with a gun drill and milling machine together. Gun drilling and milling, I mean, it's very, very simple, but it's not, there's so much going on in there. What kind of parts would need a gun drilling machine and a milling machine together? Hey, we can find the molds industry that they, they need to drill holes for the refrigeration. You can use the energy that they have a lot of holes to do it, oil and gas. So we can find a lot, a lot, uh, a lot of sectors. Absolutely. And, and those kinds of parts mean that the construction, the configuration of the machine is, is very special. Now, Dave, you go and have a quick look at that while we're talking. Um, this machine has seven axes. Now, could you explain why does it need so many axes, Sergio? Yeah, but because it, uh, we try to prepare the machine for small parts and big parts. So when seven axes, we have an extra axis on the table. So Absolutely. And, uh, and the tilting on the arm. And you look at the space here, there is a huge amount of space, meaning you could rotate a big part around yes. and you'd be able to access all sides of it. Now, yeah. I'm imagining a part with loads of different holes, loads of features and all different sides, but the holes is the most important thing here, really. I mean, if you look at the, the, the spindle, it's not a normal milling spindle. What is it, how is it constructed and why is it constructed like that? Yeah, the spindle is based in a mechanical spindle with a belt transmission and uh, with, uh, with the gearbox, that is an option to increase the torque uh, on a spindle with a lower power consumption. And we can see the spindle is actually the, the, yeah. the component back here. Yeah. In front of it, we have a really big assembly here, which I've not seen much of. It's, a, it's like a gun drilling assembly. And why would you need this in front of your machine spindle? Yeah, because you need to support the body of the gun drill, okay, to keep the accuracy of the hole and the position and the drift, so that's why. And we've just moved over to the assembly area, Sergio. Now, what are we looking at here? Yeah, we are in the, in the sub-assembly area where everything starts. Uh, and uh, here we have a different sub-assembly of the machines. And in this case, we have in front of us the, the table bath assembly. And uh, here you can see the mechanical brake, okay? That is uh, important for us to keep the axial force of the candle process. Absolutely, and that's because that's you've got a component sat on here and you might be drilling a 30, 40, 50 millimeter hole. You need to make sure that component, the component stays absolutely, absolutely. rigid yes. when you're, uh, when you're yes. drilling those big, big components. Um, so this is the machine bed. What is the, what's the sub-assembly here? Yeah, you, you can see the Z-axis sub-assembly yeah, where the column will be sit on the top of so this The column place. sits on top of here top, yes. and the Z-axis will move. Actually, they're almost orientated yeah. as if they would be More on the machine, the, yes. kind of. <laughs> Not quite aligned, are they? <laughs> yes. but they're close Perfect. enough. And this is kind of the second, the, the primary Z-axis, secondary Z-axis. Second, yes. um, and this will sit the column, it's, it's going to have a lot of weight on it. Yeah, there is a lot of weight on that. That is why we introduce here the large blocks of the sliding. These are very yeah. big bearings very here, big aren't they? Bearings, yes, yes, I love yes, it. Yes, and, yes. Um, and this sits on, actually, yeah, the this component sits over there, on the it? machine bed. And uh, there you can see three linear guides that is built position in the, in the, in the ends of this structure and also in the middle. Yeah. Why? To keep the rigid of the column. In Wherever it sits. Yes, perfect. Absolutely. You need to make sure it sits exactly where it uh, yeah. sits. The same, same height, bank. there's no bowing, there's no drooping, because there is. Yeah. these are all cast parts, aren't yes. they? They make the base yes. of the machines. Our machines is 100% cast parts. And one of the most important things is actually how the operators use the machines every day. How have you thought about operator ergonomics? Yeah, we, we take care about that because it's important for, for, for the people to be happy every day. So we prepare also the, the monitor with a lift, manual lift position to, to adjust according to the people. Brilliant. And the options are, what kind of control options are there? Uh, we have uh, Siemens, Hyde 9 and Fanuc and Fagor control today. Brilliant. So there's loads of different options for the clients that, uh, depending on what they need. Um, and if we look at the machine tool as well, if you're bringing in big parts, you don't want to have to be kind of pushing them through by hand, do you? No, you can see we have the ceiling open with the doors. So the crane could be inside and lift to the part. Uh, without an issue, Absolutely. and even for the operators, they can go inside and they have the right height of the, the table for go to the fixtures and uh, take, take care about that.
Absolutely. And what I love is you've got your tool changer for the uh, deep hole gun drilling. Yes. And also around here, you've got the automatic tool changer for the, for the standard tools. Well. You have two different tool changers. Which yes, is we have uh, the, the cassettes. You already know how to operate them. Yeah, I do. You press important. the door button there. Yeah, you see the boot. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy for operators like me yeah. or, or non-operators, yeah. as, as you might uh, this say. This is a standard ATC for the standard tools, capability for 40, 60, but 120 tools. Yeah, very long tool. Long tool. We have 600 millimeters tool long here. Absolutely. So 600 millimeters and any more than that and you probably need the gun yeah. drill supports we, if you're going to be doing those, lo those long holes. Did, we already did a special tool change for special customers who ask more length, like one meter. And with all this attention to detail, how have you dealt with Jenna, the boring maintenance stuff that people have to do? Yeah, we have experience along the years and uh, we develop a special cabinet for hydraulic and pneumatic and uh, that will be uh, sex from outside of the cover. And you can see that it's very easy for here and looks like so much uh, tight. It looks very tight inside, you can't access it from different you can, sides. You can make this movement <laughs> and you have access of all co hydraulic components. Wow, so, so you can get in the behind, you can behind, change, change can hoses and whatnot. So it's easy for maintenance. Fantastic, and I love the design yeah. work. Let's, let's leave the, the maintenance yeah. the side over there. Um, and I think the, the design of the machine is beautiful. The, the, the actual mechanical construction is fascinating. Um, what are the options if someone's looking at this machine and they think, well, I might want to automate it. I don't quite need seven axes. I only do big parts or I only do yeah. small parts. What are the options for the customers? Yeah, we have uh, also a pallet uh, system that can load and unload parts till 12 tons on the machine. Uh, we have also a WISE system to control the drilling process to keep the same energy cutting the, the, the chips and the material. We have also oil mix collector on the machine. We have uh, loads of different options for customers yes. to change as they want. Um, there's so many options for customers. And if you need gun drilling with milling, you want to remove maybe two machines out of a process and turn it into one, check out Cheto. Go to cheto, C-H-E-T-O dot E-U.